exactly the ideal style. Fourth shot and I haven't got a swing. windy and that's not the reason though for the first few bad shots and a drop but maybe now I can start playing some non-crazy golf and I'll tell you what under the circumstances of starting badly playing that hybrid so well I must have just hit down on it beautifully because it soared high in the air even in this incredible wind it's wind again so it's gone a long way so that was a really really nice shot but I've taken five already. So anyway, it's a bad start, but good things are going to come. So hit the trees and is short. So there I was thinking I can curl this round because of the natural hook with the hybrid, forgetting that I'm barely hooking it at all. I'm just hitting it so cleanly with that club. I mean, I just hit that absolutely dead straight and too far into the trees on the other side. So this is interesting. It's a disastrous start, really. But I already feel that I'm playing well. They're lovely 
Vokey 58 over the bunkers on the previous hole. Hybrid struck really cleanly, even though it was the wrong shot just then. So I'm going to keep really positive and upbeat because it might not be a great score, but maybe I can do something to the eclectic, which was always the plan. But uh, not on these holes, I don't think. Let's see. I'm loving it actually already, despite the um, terrible start. And there's no one behind either, which is really, really good. So it's going to be a nice, clean, no waiting, no stress up the rear round. really to get through that sh small gap lift the ball up with a seven iron and not go straight in the bunker that was really um that was a worldie and so as i always think with golf the more trouble you get into the more fun it <laughs> becomes as long as you're not too worried about the score i mean look at that to now be in a position to chip onto the green Maybe even make bogey path. Oh. 
so yet again, not a shot. So again, I was trying to sort of bend it round and I got sort of average contact and the ball just went on and on and on straight into the bunker on this difficult par five. And I've got to play out of sand and you know what it's going to be. It's going to be very good sand for a greenside bunker. The score is piling up. But since I saw it stop, it's actually rolled down a bit. At least it's on the, uh, the right side of the, the hole. So today, I must try and avoid what I did yesterday. Four pattern. So, um, yeah, the score might be piling up. But there is still a chance to limit its piling propensities. I am genuinely really enjoying this and getting to play some very different shots. And I still can't get over that seven iron through the bushes. <laughs> it was a real sevy moment. Devi. Divi. This hole is uncanny. I just, I mean, it's not a slice, but I go right every single time. And there's a bunker on the left, which I, I obviously don't want to go into, but I'm not trying to avoid it. I'm trying to hit the ball straight. That was a five iron, and it's just gone long enough. 
probably will be pretty normal but crazy just like yesterday same position I think but all that said like yesterday it's in a very good position pin high and uh, yeah not bad at all pressure there of the camera on me from a distance. Hence, I hold the five foot up.
on the motorbike went across my <laughs> drive just now and um, his old boy on a motorbike and he had a single iron in his hand and he's actually playing I don't know I mean he's, he's obviously playing or doing something <laughs> that you do on a golf course so even though the score's not good I'm thoroughly enjoying this round and it's so nice that there's, there's no noise I'm not being fussed by anyone shame about the wind at times but it will help at other times and it's just nice that there's no one, you yeah, know, no one around. It's lovely. And now to have not reached the bunker on the left is even nicer. Yes. Now there's a classic. When I finally get a normal lie and I'm not at some crazy distance and I haven't got a tree in, a way, in the way, I completely thinned it and sort of miss hit it and it's, it's only gone about half the distance I wanted, but at least it's gone, I don't know, it's probably still gone about 100 yards, so it's not the end of the world. Just close. But having said that about the miss hit, even though it was on grass, even the grass is rock hard. It's just, you don't take any sort of grass or anything, it's just wherever you hit it, you just seem to sort of be up against this rock hardness. I'll sit back. Even the greens are hard here on this one because that went up nicely. Nice little chop and it carried on rolling. That's trees hit yet again, and with more trees to go through. Well, that's trees hit yet again, and with more trees to go through.
in moments like that are just a good example of the, the real pleasures of golf away from scoring, you know. So you just think, I can't play safe there. There's nothing to play safe for, it'd be so difficult. So might as well just go for it. Don't worry about score, just enjoy the moment and see if you can hit the ball cleanly. I just got this fantastic contact. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant, really enjoyed that shot. Especially not hearing the clang of ball against bark. But look where it's ended up. I didn't expect to power out of that. So even though I haven't lost a ball yet, I just went to the place where I bought the classic True Viz Callaway balls back in whenever it was, June or July, which got me so many good rounds and I've still got a few left. But this time I just bought six what looked like unmarked pink Callaway balls for a hundred baht. So I might even go back there again later or tomorrow and get some more for the future because they're just, there's some They've got the, the sort of the, probably the thousand baht piles of 20, which are just really good value. And that drive just then was quite good, but I don't know where I've ended up. But the caddy seemed to think it was okay. And not what this sculpture suggests. as well, just from two foot. It would have been awful to have missed that, but what fantastic par. The R55 once again coming into its own. No thin shots with that club yet. Goodness knows where it's gone. I hope you've seen it. Looks like it's next to a bush. not ideal. Precisely 200. If it had been 201 I'd be right. Well this could be a first.
not bad. That has to rank as one of the craziest shots I've had to attempt. But look where it's ended up. Dead center of the fairway. Notice until just then that my um, eclectic score has come down by one after powering the previous hole, so that's good. And uh, I feel quite pleased with my Seve left handed back of the putter positional perler <laughs> into the middle of the green to get a bogey par, so that was good. I'm really enjoying some of this crazy play. I'm only two over bogey pass, so I'm actually sort of keeping things uh, relatively controlled.
So that's the front nine in uh, two over bogey bar, which given some of the craziness isn't too bad. But I've got my eye on not this hole, but the next one, because the next one is the one where I've got, I've had two sevens after um, looking like I was going to get a par and then messing up so there's a chance for the eclectic round to go down further it's currently at 76 my best ever eclectic over four rounds is 74 so I'm on 76 at the moment it's only the third round I might not be playing tomorrow so this might be the last round I'm not sure where the ball's gone this time he says that it went through the bunker but if it's gone through the bunker it could be a complete mess <laughs> I might wish I was in the bunker. So I don't think it was going on a very nice line. Yeah, it's going well over there somewhere. It's giving me, it's just dropped it from inside the pipes. a shot. way mark on that one. And the beauty of playing a course that you're not entirely familiar with, but it's not your regular one, is that when you pull off shots like that one, where basically it had to go probably best if it was relatively low, far to the left to get over the ridge and get the roll down and it was just what, exactly what I was going for and so it was a real beauty and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying this round there's been some really odd moments but I'm, I'm doing okay 
and powering the hole just now after that nine iron after the drop from the plastic tubing <laughs> that was brilliant because when I played the shot I couldn't see a thing as I looked up because of the sunshine in my eyes and so I had no idea I mean if someone had said oh you, you, you've sliced it and lost it in the trees I would have thought okay yeah felt like it and I had no idea and to be sort of nicely on the green with a chance to bar over the two putt it was fantastic but then to actually get that it was brilliant but nothing off the eclectic score because I bar yesterday I the day before I don't know but this is the hole where I to try and get something off the eclectic so this is a biggie up on the third shot both times it's a nerve-wracking business gosh there's a lot at stake and the crowds are really out now surrounding the green you can barely see the trees pressure Use the 50 degree Vokey, and I was aware that it was a downhill light, so I put it in the back of my stance to make sure I was going down on the ball. And the contact was just beautiful, and it was it was with the wind. It landed on the green, it's rolled off, but I don't remember. There must be a bunker there, but um, oh, there is one. I was in it, I think. But yeah, real pity. That was, I mean, it was a lovely shot. I didn't quite come off just went a bit too long but um yeah that, that's not messing messing the whole up that's just a really good effort
done it in the past. That's too off the eclectic round. Zero pup par. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that's incredible. Certainly um, wasn't expecting that. I mean, I was aiming for the hole, but just absolutely perfect. Little chip rolled in, it wasn't rocketing. It wouldn't have gone far past. I get a par. The eclectic round is now down to 74. More importantly, of course, I'm down to evens now, which was a real surprise after that though human in the bunker. <laughs> I kept my spirits up, but obviously it was a bit deflating early on, getting into so much trouble and having to do these really sort of crazy shots and not having a, a straight shot at all. But to be down on evens now, after I don't know how many holes, I can't remember how many it is. Um, but um, it's really, really good. And once again, had so many really nice moments, some good bits of play, some lucky bits of play, some great things to have on film. And um, yeah, and then I get the chip in just now, which actually did mean a lot because I was thinking if I get it close, I can hold the part in at least game one, even though it'd be disappointing to get a six. But um, yeah, the only mistake I made on that shot was not sort of thinking that the Vokey would go with the wind and go further than normal. So probably instead of going the 90 yards, which it was to the flag, it went about 105. Um, but as the caddy said, the green was hard and it's not holding. So anyway, it's just been brilliant.
was a pickup parked on the fairway and I was aiming for it. I think I've gone straight under it or clattered into it. I mean by the time I um by the time the ball reached it, it should have been going along the ground, but I, I think it might well have hit it. No one sort of come out. But I was I mean I was it's in exactly the place I wanted to aim for. And so I deliberately aimed for it thinking if you're gonna leave it there. Looks like I've got through it. I can't see the ball. Oh, I can see it now. Yeah. Difficult hazard, but. Yeah, he reckons it's on, but I hopefully that's his uh, 30 year experience, but to me it looked like it wasn't. I think it's not going to be on myself. But I could actually see the plateau of the green, unlike yesterday, where it was that bit harder. But anyway, at least I hit it nice and high and got good contact.
I was going to say before the last hole that yesterday I did these two holes in eight via a tri triple bogey and an eagle. Now I've taken five so far and I'm quite close, well I don't know how close to the pin but close enough to avoid a, a ten putt <laughs> on this very tricky hole. It would be nice, it would be very nice to par this one. But that was a lovely strike off the tee there, a time. Just really, really caught it well and trusted to the club. I was only playing 117 yards, but just thought, yeah, I don't know. Just didn't think it was going to go anywhere near the 130 I should get. So it was just right, nice and smooth. Well, 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 certainly got a look. <laughs> Such a terrible putt, but at, at last the downhill slope helped me out. Gosh, that second putt was truly awful. <laughs> truly awful from a foot. Went round the back and, oh well, today I got some luck. But look at the roll on this. Virtually none. It's virtually a kick in par. But a par, beautiful. So after that horrendous one foot putt, which virtually went in the back door with the slope, I mean, God almighty, that was awful. I do those two holes in seven, which is one better than yesterday. Yesterday, two and a six. Today, four and a three. Much prefer today, to, to be honest, except for that putt. But they all count. Anyway, I now find myself with four holes to play two under bogey par, which is very respectable after the poor start. So um, I would love to keep it down to that. If I can improve on it, amazing. But I really just want to keep under 90 because that'll be three in a row, which would be quite nice. But I really have enjoyed today so much, partly because there's no one around, hardly anyone.
as ever it's gone too far right despite having a fairway which is about three miles wide um, the question is am I in any trouble don't know yet it might be all right at least it's gone a long way so this is the par five which I think I've parred both times so far this trip seen it. It's um, not in a good position. after that fluffed positional shot that was a well nearly a very good shot but it's um, curled away from the green and near the base of yet another tree it's possible the monkeys have taken it I just saw a monkey drop of my ball there's definitely one in front of what I saw was my ball just now but it could also be at the base of the tree actually against the tree I can see a white dot but I can also see a white dot that a monkey's moved away from and another one is now standing by it and is literally looking at it yeah, has picked it up oh this is classic has actually just picked it up and put it down again and has moved it and has moved it has picked it up is, is currently walking away with it this is amazing he's holding his hands running off with it <laughs> oh my god he's actually running off with the ball so I can still see one over there but there's a small monkey with my ball. It's just moved it about 20 odd yards. This is really quite amazing because they've moved it about 20 yards. But I guess you got to play it. So I've no idea what the ruling is on that, but my ball's been advanced about 10, 12 yards by two or three monkeys.
prove my lie or not, but they move the ball two or three times <laughs> and I come out with a bogey past six. That really was incredible to watch though. What I thought was a monkey picking my ball up, but wasn't sure. And then another one definitely did pick it up. And then a real baby one picked it up again, walked off with it and then dropped it. And then I played that shot, first shot, feeling really edgy because I was watching the monkeys thinking they might pounce at any moment. Sort of half fluffed it, but then did a brilliant second, half 55 and a fantastic putt. So I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. So yesterday with the three hybrid, I hit it dead straight. And this time, I don't know, maybe I was a mis misaligned, but it didn't feel like it. It went straight into the bunker, but came out. So unfortunately, it could be a long way out. This could be the hole to scupper the bogey part around. But I have no idea until I get up there. But what fun it's been today. It really has sort of enjoyed it more than the than the other two rounds really. I think it's because of the variety and all the problems, ironically. That's been the fun fun aspect of the game. Um, yeah it's a real reminder of the pleasure that can be had from the difficulty and the crazy nature of some of the shots. So yeah, wonderful. I've been there, but it was hurtling, so it could be anywhere. It could even be in the next bunker. Okay. Oh, there it is. It is in the next bunker. Oh well. Just past the pin. the tree.
after all my talk earlier of focusing on the eclectic round, I didn't realise that when I parred the 14th with that terrible putt from a foot, which rolled in through the aid of golfing gravity, I'd actually, in that moment, beaten my eclectic record on the course. Now the eclectics are done over four rounds, of course, but this is only my third. And I started the day at 77, and that shot, or that magnificent one foot putt with the Newtonian skills involved, got me down to 73. So my eclectic round is now on 73. If I parred this hole, I would get an eclectic round of par. Mm. Let's see. was super low because of the, the dreadful lie on concrete and uh, it's actually rolled onto the green. That was really glorious actually because I could feel the need to um, hit down on the ball. I know you're always meant to hit down on the ball, but you just get a sense of it more when you're on rock hard ground. I've been watching, you know, videos recently where they say exactly the same thing. And I actually put it, what a, what a time to put it to the test. So if I could two part this, I would get my eclectic round of par, I think, unless I've miscalculated. But anyway, the fact that I've already got my best eclectic is very, very good indeed. But I'm only a one under bogey par, so nothing to shout about. But I have had some tricky lies today, to say the least. But as I've repeated many times, it's been a magnificently enjoyable round. Especially with that new learning about Newtonian physics on the 14th. realised actually it wouldn't have been, even if I'd parred it it wouldn't have been um, an eclectic round of par because par is I was gonna say par is 71 no it's not it's 72 so I think it would have been oh well if I play another round I've still got that one shot to go for
that was a dreadful drive. I just skied it. So, well, hopefully I'll have a shot because otherwise I might have the dreaded dropped shot on this hull, which would take me to 90, which is bogey par. But I don't want to get bogey par. But still, whatever. Um, it's been great fun. So enjoyable. And of course, I have got that secondary achievement in the bag of my best eclectic round at Hin, and I only needed three rounds to do it. It's actually fun, I can see it, I've got a shot. very nice. Not a stunner, but it was very nice. I've got a chance now to chip on two putt and of course a chance of chip on and one putt, but let's not be over enthusiastic at the moment or over optimistic. But if I chip on and two putt, I would get one under bogey par, which would be 89. I've done my calculations correctly. But yeah, what fantastic entertainment though. It's 10 past six. And yeah, I've really, really enjoyed nearly every minute of it. <laughs> Actually I have. I've enjoyed every minute of it. So um yeah, brilliant. So I got the bogey par, um, which means that, yeah, I think I've gone round in 89. So, so far this week, I've gone 85, 87, 89. If I keep the math up, tomorrow should be 91. I don't want to end on a neg negative note. That was a very well played round, given that I got into lots and lots of trouble. And, uh, yeah. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable.
almost gleefully the girl in the uh, <coughs> bookings room reception told me that tomorrow is fully booked and I said what every single slot and she said yes I think she took some pleasure in that I don't really mind because I was half thinking of not playing tomorrow maybe even going back tomorrow I might think about trying another course but the main thing is my eclectic round record has just been confirmed so I got 73 over three rounds but I've got a round in hand so if I could knock one more off I could get a par eclectic round but unfortunately it's not to be this time because I haven't got any more rounds but still that was one of the aims in coming here was to get that um, record if I could and I've done it and with a round to spare, so that feels really, really good. And uh, yeah, I don't really mind not playing tomorrow. And yeah, such fun today, such fun. And to think of that um, chip in when I got the par on whatever hole it is, that really counted in the end. <laughs> that was the one that got the two shots off. And of course, I must mention one last time, the gravity part, where my knowledge of Einstein and golf, no, Newton and golf, there's probably a bit of Einstein in there too, deliberately just putting it round the back of the cup to encourage the rotation of the earth to pull that ball in. Not even the rotation, just that magnification that magnetized magneti something yeah so the um <coughs> yeah it was just great to play that hole with the knowledge of newton and watch it drop just like the apple oh tiger nice to meet you